yeah, I would like to introduce some tips and tricks for the Power BI. My name is Anna, and um, most of my career, I just work with the Power BI and Microsoft products. So you can find me on the link as well. Um, uh, and uh, and I would like to talk about today about um, how we can just quick um, um, visual, make our visual reports and highlight some to our customers, to our user, to give them better uh, overview about um, um, our reports. Yeah, uh, some highlights. So, so, so main thing I'm going to talk about um, a few things is, is um, how to is easy way to present the DAX function and um, some tips with Unichar and the bookmarks. Um, um, so basically, um, I don't know how much you're familiar with, uh, with the Power BI. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh. I don't know how much you're familiar with Power BI, but um, in Power BI, we just use DAX function to create some aggregate um, uh, functions. <laughs> um, I know it um, it's could be very it can be very painful, but if you have numeric values in your report, you just drop your 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 numeric values to uh, to the fields, um, and you just right click on it, and you easily you can just um, get your aggregate function, average, minimum, maximum, count, distinct and uh, whatever you're looking for to get in your reports on your tables. So this way you don't need to create the DAX function itself. You just, it's already the functionality is provided for you. So this is something uh, to be aware of when you're using Power BI. It is very simple and very easy to just get the first data insight. So that's how this looks like. Some average minimum, maximum can this thing. Um, so that is the very simple way. The another tip that I would like to mention, if you have a metrics for KPI reports and you like to highlight some trends, um, maybe alerts to like to show to managers that they keep should be keep eye on on this particular item that is low or that is um, that has got maximum value of something or says I don't know <laughs> whatever, uh, you can easily use DAX uh, function called Unichar. Unichar is uh, uh, you just need to provide the correct number. Like it's over here, you have met, you have one hundred forty nine thousand uh, uh, um, unicodes uh, that they provide online, and um, I just highlighted here on the right hand side how do they look. Um, so you can provide that uh, DAX, you can provide this number into Unichart uh, uh, function, but uh, please be aware of that that uh, your this Unichart should be tested before deploying to the production because it, it may be not uh, compatible with your browser, especially um, Internet Explorer browser. So you may have the correct Unichar and um, it may be not be um, uh, seen by the end user in your Power, uh, Power BI services reports. It will show you as a gray um, area or things like that. It will show you gray gray circle, gray square. So it's better if all the time to test it and test it and test it. So this is uh, one of the things that it's worth to mention for the also good um, highlighting some trends. Uh, the another thing I would like to mention is uh, another trick that I'm using, I was using most of the time in my uh, reports is a bookmark. So a bookmark is a snapshot of your screen. I am. Um, I don't know how much familiar you are with the with the with the Power BI, but it's kind of screenshot what you see right now. So basically, in in this video over here, um, in this video over here, um, showing three reports. Uh, but I can see that as user is uh, uh, clicking on the links, um, it's prompting you to correct reports. So it's everything happening on happening on the one page, where the unit price report is seen over here. But behind this unit price report, you have product cost and the re uh, re uh, revenue view. Uh, it's hidden, so you just create bookmarks. So it's give you better user experience. You can this way um, let user to, um, to to just drive the story. Um, and I think it's, it's a very good um, functionality in the Power BI uh, just to make this report look better and, and the neat. So, so this one that I wanted to present uh, for you uh, today, uh, I know we are very short with the time. So I, I hope uh, you enjoy and just wondering if you have any questions. 
Thanks very much, Anna. I really enjoyed that. Um, I have a quick question, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, so how long did it take you to learn Power BI from beginner to where you'd say you are now? Uh, um, to be honest with you, uh, learning Power BI is a constantly learn, uh, learning curve uh, because um, uh, updates of the Power BI are just coming up every month, so you have to be up to date. <laughs> uh, so it's a ca cast, uh, actually constant learning curve, but to be familiar with uh, some functionality in the reports and the DAX, I believe it's a matter of, um, of the tool three months if you use that on daily basis. Mainly, um, I see that, that uh, the, um, the DAX and the visualization preparing the reports takes the much more of your time, uh, you know, um, to do it and uh, nothing more than that. It depends from the business case, use case. It, it, it depends how, you, how you're doing the reports. That's very important from where this your data coming from. So that is another stage to just understand uh, your, your data. Yeah. Sure. So lots and lots of things to consider. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any more question? Thank you, Anna. Uh, I can see there's a question from Alicia in the chat. What are your favorite Power BI resources? Oh, po uh, favorite Power BI resources. There are many of them, uh, but uh, I believe that my favorite is a uh, cube guy. As you can find this guy on the YouTube. He talks very fast. <laughs> He's got very short video presenting <laughs> exactly bookmarks what I said to you, what I showed you. But sometimes I have to watch that a few times to understand what you're talking about. So uh, yeah, Cube Guy, I would definitely recommend. Those guys are actually uh, Microsoft guys. They're talking about US update. They talk about uh, um, uh, some uh, principle of, of uh, using um, data sets, how you're using some architecture in Power BI uh, services, and many, many, many more. So it's, it's not um, only about Power BI. It's uh, another, they're the going out, outside the box as well. So it, it, they talk about everything. Um, so I, I recommend you uh, Cube Guy. And if you get more, 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 and more advanced in Power BI. There are so many others that I would like to share with you as well. So you just drop me uh, the message and I can send you some, uh, some links for that. Thank you. Thank you very much.